Where's little Adam? He's sure as hell not having a play date with David Hayward. We were only gone a few minutes. And that makes it okay? He wants to steal my son. You, you leave the door wide open to him? Well, now, certainly David has every right to no, no, want to see... No, he has no rights. Not when it comes to my son. I make the decisions for little Adam. Not him, and certainly not you. I made a mistake. A mistake? David Hayward will stop at nothing to get my son. Look, ever since Babe died, he's been fixated on that family. First little Lay, now Crystal. I've even warned her to stay away from him. But every time I turn around, he's there trying to help her cope with the pain. Now, she needs to lean on somebody. Why can't it be Tad? Why, indeed. David was Babe's father. He may be the only other person in the world who understands what I'm coming through. So you come here to lean on each other and share your grief? David missed out on a lot of Babe's life. So, if a few pictures of her here and there help him get over her death, then it's the least I can do. I'd love to see them. The, the pictures he brought? Perhaps another time. I'm here now. Crystal and I have some family business to discuss. Ours will have to wait. to everything to come here when you summon me. Yeah, well, look at the bright side. Now you have plenty of time to talk J.R. out of having another drink. You, uh, you gave her a key. I was lonely. Amanda was available. You're sleeping with her. Slept. It meant nothing. She was just someone to help me get through the night. And, uh, and now? Now I'm not as lonely anymore. What Amanda and I had was a joke. A diversion to keep my mind off the pain. Yeah. Missing babe. Makes you do some crazy things. Not when I'm with you. Babe is a part of us, Crystal. You and I will be linked together forever. <laughs> 